The inspiration behind this legislation was drawn in some ways from President Obama himself, who shortly after the Supreme Court issued its decision in the Windsor case invalidating portions of the Defense of Marriage Act. The president made a comment that I actually found uh, quite helpful. He said, look, I'm not going to, I have no desire to try to force any church to perform a same-sex marriage contrary to its religious teachings. I thought, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. That is one of those things that shouldn't have to be said. It's sort of like walking past somebody on the street. You might be a little bit alarmed if somebody comes up to you when you walk past them on the street and says, uh, by the way, I don't intend to kidnap you. <laughs> it shouldn't have to be said. But nonetheless, if you hear that, I, I suppose you can take some comfort in hearing it. But the thought kept occurring to me that his statement was in some ways incomplete, as some, his statement uh, in some ways need to, needed to be backed up by law. If, in fact, he means that, then we ought to back up his statement by law, guaranteeing that no church will be forced to perform a same-sex marriage contrary to its teachings, and no American will have to embrace the religious beliefs that w would entail such an ordinance.